So thinking about what the powertrain is going to do for Alcoa is really the tool that's going to do the reconnaissance for us into our pipelines, the hundreds of kilometers of pipelines we got, and go and find those regions of interest where we see something is going to go wrong, flag that for the rest of the business then to take the appropriate steps. So my name is Steve Puerta. Um, I work for Alcoa. Um, I've been with Alcoa for 12 years. The whole crux behind approaching Nexus was to find something that can find the wear areas inside the pipelines as opposed to the existing techniques that has to look from the outside. My name is Leon McInary. Um, I'm one of the robotics engineers here at Nexus. I was the software team lead for the powertrain project. It's really fun because we got to integrate with all of these novel technologies and build this novel robotic control system uh, from the ground up. As it's a modular system, we can look to improve it with different payloads or more drive capabilities. So through the field testing, we can identify how we can improve the product. My dream was to have a robot that can actually go vertically up these lines about 28 meters high and find these very hard to access areas and you can pinpoint exactly where those wear spots are. In the powertrain, uh, we then scoped up from exactly that specific application. We said, okay, we needed something to do X, Y, and Z. We needed to climb so high, so many meters, so many bends, be caustic resistant. It needs to have cameras in the front and the back. And then we need a central unit that can actually focus really into that. And also some mechanism that can look at the depth of that anomaly that we found there, the wear. So the payload we have incorporated into Powertrain is used to quantify any indications it finds in the pipe using uh, depth cameras. The operator can drive the Powertrain through the pipework, visually find an area of interest, park this payload module up to that area, and then start taking measurements with the depth camera. It's exciting to see us grow from a a business that was just using whatever equipment was available in the market to making the equipment and, and putting the exact technology that we want to see into the market. So one of the biggest things with Powertrain when we started the design study was um, how sharp the angle of the bends were. So it's, it's a 1.5D bend, especially given that it's a 180 mil pipe, which is really small. Um, that was my biggest concern basically, like will the scrawler at 180 mil diameter be able to go through the bend. It gives me a great sense of satisfaction seeing something go from within the computer to an actual product and then you can see it do all its things and um, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh. I can only say that the enthusiasm that I've seen from the Nexus team on all levels, the, the way they came on board and didn't shy away and I definitely think what we got in the end product actually way surpassed what I initially envisioned.